Hi, my name is John. Welcome to a video that's going to be all about cooking. Not engineering, not machining, not steam engines, cooking. I was at a steam rally last weekend and there was a young lady come and she says, John, are you going to do any more cooking videos? Because I really enjoy them. Well, summer's nearly here, hopefully. It's barbecue time. So what I'm going to do is make some beef burgers. In fact, I'll actually have steak burgers. I'm going to put some in the freezer and I'm going to have one or two tonight for me tea. Um, it's quite a simple recipe, easy to do. I'll go through it, uh, see if I can have a laugh as we're doing it. Anyway, don't forget, it's all about cooking. Right, basic ingredients. I've got a kilo of good quality minced beef. I've got an onion, some Dijon mustard, mustard sauce, bread crumbs, pepper, salt and some garlic. I've also got some lazy garlic, which is already prepared. First thing we need is an egg to bind it all together. Into the egg, a little spoonful of mustard. A spoonful of mustard sauce. A spoonful, black pepper, plenty of it, a little bit of salt. onion. Stop there before we any finger ends in it. Into the mixing bowl with the onion. garlic because you can't really beat the, the proper stuff. Just crush it like that straight in. Right, the minced beef and the onion are all mixed together. Into this we'll add some breadcrumbs. These are ready made breadcrumbs but you can obviously make your own. You want to go a cup full of breadcrumbs. Because it depends on how big the cup is. You can put anything you want in here, really. You can put curry powder in or chili or anything you want in. Mm. 
that's quite well mixed up now. This is mozzarella cheese. I'm going to put some mozzarella cheese inside each burger. This is not health food. But once in a while, I don't think it'll do you any harm at all. I'll put some of the burger mince into the little former. Probably about a six or seven mil layer. A piece of mozzarella in the centre and then another layer of mince on top of it. Seal the edges in. And that's one done. So I'm going to make quite a few because I'm going to freeze some of these. Obviously I'm not going to eat it all tonight. These are going to take a while to cook because they are nice and thin. They smell good. A little bit of salad just to go with the, the burgers, not too much. This was given to me by a friend, a butcher from Cumberland. I'm actually afraid to use it as it really is. It really is super short. A little bit of lettuce. Do. Doing well now. So we're actually getting bigger when I cook and not smaller. Okay, right, these burgers will now be done. Make sure I've cooked all of you through, which they are. I'm going to warm the bun up in the pan. You can put relish on there and you want it really, but I think I'll just leave it the way it is. Once again, it's just time to see it. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and bon appetit, bonny lad. That was absolutely wonderful.